everybody I am Michelle Smith welcome to my channel if you're new here and welcome back if you're not so on this channel we talk about losing the weight of physical weight as well as losing the weight of debt well today is more so around money management and as you can tell from the title of the video I will be sharing ways that you can save money every day so what does saving money and getting out of debt have to do with one another simply put when you save more money based on how you spend your money, you are able to put more money towards debt. So let's get started with the first way that you can save money every single day. So the first way that I save money is to plan. I plan everything down to what I'm going to wear, how I'm going to spend my money when I'm out, when I'm going to do big ticket items. I plan that out as well this way i'm able to have more control over my money the more control over my money i have the more money i will save because then i can take that money and place it towards debt and that brings me to my next way of saving money the next way is to budget and track every dime you spend that is a way that you can save money every single day when you use a planner to plan out your budget and your finances and you're writing everything down you're much more in control and in in touch with your finances and what you spend than if you had used let's say a digital app i'm not saying there's anything wrong with using digital apps i use digital apps as well i use ynab you need a budget when i want to drill down and really see in more detail how i've been spending my money but for the most part i use overall categories that are more broad when i am tracking on my paper planner and so if you're like me and you love Amazon, one of the ways that I save money on Amazon is to not impulse buy. Now, that may be a little bit difficult in the beginning, but what I've learned and what I've started doing is to just put things in my cart or in my later list. And when I do that, I find that sometimes I don't even go back and buy those things. You know when you really want something, when you put it in your car or you put it on the list and you go looking for it and trying to figure out how you can pay for it. But when you stick it on the list or you stick it in a cart and then eventually you take it out of your car, you really didn't need that in the first place. So you save money that way by putting it in a cart or putting it on a list on Amazon. And this is a big one for me because I have spent so much money on Amazon, usually on debt and so now i'm saving money by just being more mindful with how i choose the items that i purchase the fourth way to save money is to use sinking funds in an app such as capital that app will help you to save for your sinking funds that you have planned in the future now in case you don't know what sinking funds is it's just expenses that will come up regardless of if you plan for them or not so it's not your everyday expenses like rent and groceries it's things that will happen but they're very sporadic like for example well actually they're not always sporadic sometimes they're planned sinking funds like christmas you can have a sinking fund for christmas you can have a sinking fund for birthdays but there are also things like your car is going to break down eventually or your car is going to need maintenance eventually. And so you save for those things in advance. So when you save for them in advance using an app like Capital, you actually save money because you're becoming more prepared. Now you actually can use cash, but I find that if I keep cash around for my sinking funds, I might dip into them for some of my variable expenses. So I don't like to keep cash for my sinking funds. I only keep cash for my variable expenses. Another way to save money every day is to separate out your bill money from your spending money. If you're not doing cash budgeting for your variable expenses, it's a good idea to have your bills in a separate account. Therefore, you don't overspend or you don't overdraft. So you're saving money by not overdrafting your account by making sure that all of your bills and all of your fixed expenses, anything that comes directly out of your account is already set aside and it's in a separate account. Then whatever is money that you spend that's from your free variable expenses once the money is gone it's gone so you save money simply by not overspending another way that i save money every day is i shop my closet first 
it is so easy to go out and just buy this and buy that and you know you want to change your wardrobe with the seasons but there are certain staple pieces in your wardrobe that if you shop your closet first you'll realize like I don't need another black shirt I have like 14 black shirts already or I have you know five pairs of jeans I don't need another pair of jeans being very mindful of what you have in your closet already is a great way to save money by shopping your closet first another big way to save money is to use up the products that you have in your staff in stash in all the individual categories so for example I love hair products it is so easy to become a product junkie I talk about it on my other channel fine natural hair and faith but essentially being able to just buy this product and that product and this conditioner and that conditioner, you're wasting a lot of money doing that just because you want to try something. And more than likely, you'll accumulate way too many products because then when you go to use them, they might be expired. So it's a good habit to first use up the products in a given category before you go out and buy more. So for me, hair products is one, face cleansers is another, things like that. Another way that you can actually save money is to have multiple streams of income. Now you think, well, how do you save money by having multiple streams of income? For starters, if you have multiple streams of income, you can assign those dollars to specific things. So for example, I have my day job, I have my YouTube channels, I have my blog where I get some income for, you know, things like advertising, those additional streams of income are able to be saved so if you have a day job but you know that there's other things that you can do you can save money by making more money so that you can then save the money that you earned on the side that's apart from your day job so for me for example when I get let's say my blog income check what I will do is, and I don't make that much from it, but it still helps me to save money and get out of debt because I can take the money that I earn from one of these streams of income and pay down my debts. Another way that you can save money every day is to capture your receipts in a free app like Fetch Rewards or Receipt Hog. So I use those two. I also use Ibotta. Ibotta is pretty popular, but I find I don't get as much from Ibotta because the things that are in Ibotta that you purchase, it's a lot of processed food and I try not to buy those particular things. So what I'll do is I capture most of my receipts in Fetch Rewards or Receipt Hog because you get points towards gifts, gift cards or cash back in your PayPal account. And then what I'll do is I'll take that money and I'll use it to buy some of the things I want versus using money that I get from my income to go towards things that I want. So if I want to get a little bit, you know, extra things that I don't necessarily need, I will use the gift cards or the cash back I get from those particular apps, you know, and to, to dedicate towards the things that I love to buy. And that's just a great, great way of, you know, saving money because you're not using the money you earn from your, it's, it's free money, basically. Like you spent the money on the receipts, you know, the, the things that you bought, you spent the money already anyway. So it's really just very easy to just snap a picture of the receipts and let me tell you fetch rewards you get points really 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 fast and i always cash my points in for amazon gift cards because i love to shop on amazon so i let those build up cash it out and before you know it i have like 30 30 dollars i'm working towards the 50 dollars gift card so that i can buy whatever i want i have some things in my list that i really do want but I'm saving money because I am not using the money that I earn from any of my income sources. Another way that I save money every day is I do my own hair and my own nails. Now, that's maybe something that if you're a woman that's a little more high maintenance, you just, that's something you want to invest your money in. But if you're looking to save money, you will save a ton of money by doing your own hair and nails. Another way to save some money, and this is a really good one, is if you drive and you use a navigational device or you use navigation assistance on your phone or in your car, turn off the feature that says avoid tolls. So this way, it may take you a little bit longer to get to where you're going. You have to test it out though. You have to see like, 
okay, from get to point A to point B, if I turn off the tolls, because let me tell you something, I live in New York. They charge you a toll to go from the Bronx to Manhattan in some ways, or the Bronx to Brooklyn. Like, it makes no sense. It's the same city. Why are we paying a toll to go throughout the whole city? And oftentimes, the route that is without toll is only a difference of like maybe five minutes. So you have to kind of like test it out and see, put your navigation on and see if you avoid tolls, how long it will take, and then put your navigation and to put do not avoid tolls and see how long it takes and just compare the time frame. You can save a lot in tolls. And then conversely, let me tell you something. When you're driving navigation and you're, let's say, coming back from somewhere, if you do that math and you see like, okay, it's going to take me three more minutes or five more minutes, you're going to say like probably depending on where you're going, of course. If it's simply a dollar in the toll, it's not really worth it because you're going to spend the extra in gas if you like have to go 10 minutes out of your way anyway but if the timing is similar and you know like this bridge is five dollars and then i got another few little more tolls and you know you're going to spend maybe ten dollars in tolls and you can avoid those tolls by simply avoiding that in your by using your navigation to set you up for success then it is well worth it Another way that you could save money every day is you can shop with reusable bags. If you find that when you go to the grocery store, most stores charge you for bags. Some will charge you as much as 25 cents for a bag. Um, I have so many reusable bags and it's so easy to forget them. So one way that you can remember is to keep your bags in the car in the seat next to you. If you put them in the trunk, I'm, I promise you, you'll more than likely forget them. I also will put them on the doorknob of my door when I'm leaving my home. That way, I won't forget them either. Another way to save money every day is if you're like me and you get sucked in by ads on Instagram or Facebook for shiny new products and different things that, while they may add value to your life, you know that, here's the thing, what you will see more than likely it's more expensive and there's a dupe out there so what i'll do is let's say for example i find something um in my instagram feed i'm like oh i gotta have that i read the comments and a lot of times i'll see people say i got it cheaper on this i got it cheaper on that so i'll go to those sites and i'll check but you know then i'll go to amazon and i'll see and more than likely nine times out of ten i am able to get something very very similar to what i saw in my feed on one of my social media sites and save a lot of money and another way that you can save money is with gas so if you drive you can save a ton of money on gas with an app called get upside so what you do is you go and get upside and you look for a location that participates they're, they're often like all over the place. So it's not like you have to drive really far out of the way to get to a, a location. Or you can plan it out where, let's say, the location is further away. But you know that day, you know, you're going to get groceries. So you're going to be close by this particular filling station. So what you do is you would go to that filling station. You would check in on the Get Upside app. And you get cash back in your account. Like it's so easy. It's money you're going to spend anyway. So why not get money back from it? Okay, so this next way to save money is very, very similar to what I just shared. And that is about gas. So I recommend buying premium gas. And you're like, what? Premium gas costs way more money. Stick with me. What I discovered is you can buy regular gas, you can buy middle grade, or you can buy premium. When I buy premium gas, while I'm invest a little bit more up front, that gas lasts twice as long as regular and premium. I promise you, I promise you, especially if you have a new car. Like my van is two years old, so it's still relatively new. But when I tell you, oh my goodness, like what I spent, let's say I spent 329 on regular. I will go that far and I'll spend 379 or 389 on premium and while that's say 50 60 70 cents more per gallon 
the gallons last double the amount like I'm telling you I have filled up with regular and driven around you know like my regular driving schedule and within like four days I have to fill up again same amount of gas but paying more upfront because I'm getting premium and three weeks later I still got gas so basically when you buy premium you save money because even though you put more money up front, it lasts a lot longer. Another way to save money every day is to bank with a credit union. That's right, credit unions are here to serve their members. So it's not about charging you a bunch of fees and things like that. When you bank with a credit union, you can bank for free. You can bank without any commitment. You can open multiple accounts. There are no fees associated whatsoever. And while they will charge you an overdraft fee, if you happen to overdraft and haven't planned well, nine times out of 10, you can call them if it's not a habit and they will credit it back. So credit unions are great to bank with. Now the, dime, the downside of banking with a credit union is they're not everywhere. So like you may have, let's say ABC credit union, but there's only like one location in your area. But here's a tip. If you bank with a credit union, while you may not be able to make a deposit except for where you have your account at, you can withdraw from any credit union and there's no fee. And that's what's great because all of the credit unions are linked in the same network, no matter if it's your credit union or another credit union. When I used to go and get money from the ATM a lot, I would go to McDonald's because McDonald's has Actors Federal Credit Union and I never paid a fee. Or I would go to another credit union and I would save money that way. Another way to save money every day is to have your paycheck deduct an automatic deduction to go into your savings account. A lot of times when we have our money in front of us, we'll go and we'll pay bills and we'll shop and we'll do all the things, but we forget to actually save some money. So if you do an automatic deduction into a savings account, one preferably that does not connect with your bill account or it's not one that's easy to access, like an online savings account. I have Ally Savings Bank and I have my savings go right from my check into that account and I am easily able to save that way without even thinking about it. Another way that I save money is when I go shopping for groceries, I do not buy multiple items of things just because they're on sale. There will be another sale. Buy only what you need. For one, if you live in a small space like me, I live in an apartment, I am going to be using up valuable real estate with duplicate items of things. Now, there are some exceptions like paper towels. I do tend to buy a few more than normal because I have them on subscribe and save. But, you know, for the most part, when I go out to the grocery store, I do not buy a bunch of multiples. Like, I don't buy, like stockpiling detergent and and toilet papers i just buy really how much i need for the month and then i move forward now the exception to that is my subscribe and save items and that is the next way that you can actually save money by getting things on subscribe and save on amazon now let me be clear about this one because there are some things that if you buy them on subscribe and save, they may be more money. So you have to kind of do your little bit of research and see, is this something I can get cheaper in the supermarket versus on Amazon subscribe and save program? A lot of times things in the supermarket may be cheaper. And what I like is that Amazon will send you a note before your subscribe and save item is being shipped. That way you can do your little bit of research and if necessary, you can cancel that item. And another way to save money every day is through money savings challenges. So I'm doing a savings bingo right now and I will give you an image right here. And so that savings bingo allows me to save money easily and not to feel so overwhelmed or stressed out about it. A lot of the savings challenges are not really set up to save money for people who don't have a lot of disposable income. You know, I really don't like the word disposable because I'm not throwing my money out. Let's just say not any spare income, no, no income to spare. So when you do a savings challenge like savings bingo, it may be I'm saving $2 here, $7 there. I think the most on that chart, I can't remember, but I don't even think the most that you would save at once is over, it's not even over $50. So that's a great, great way to save money through money savings challenges. And the final way that I save money every day 
this is a bonus is to buy my foods organic now i know you like um what <sighs> girl organic food is expensive stick with me this one here is not so much about saving money up front because just like with buying premium gas buying organic food is an investment and it's an investment in your health i promise you promise you promise you if you feed your body a lot better with organic healthy foods grass-fed foods um, meats free range and non-gmo foods in the long run you will save money because continuing to feed your body with crap eventually will end you up with some medical bills so you'll be spending that money one way or the other either on the healthy foods or at the doctor's office anyway that's it for my money saving ways that you can save money every single day which one resonated with you let's talk about it leave a comment down below and i will link everything that i discussed down below all the apps and things um some of them are affiliate links but again i've been using these things for a very very long time so i know that they're good apps and good programs thank you so much for watching and i will catch you in the next video god bless you